Hi, in this video we want to talk about aggregate function. So for this example we have a table with some animals like cats and dogs in some cities and we went to we want to have the sum of that animals but you can see we have some errors in um, some uh, uh, cities so in this case we don't have any um, any subtotals so we don't know uh, the total here okay so let's change to have some error here so I don't have any any subtotal here I don't have any info about cats or dogs or, or anything or the total of animals by that city so we will use aggregate function the syntax is function option and array um, for function let's see we have a um, list of functions here average count we will use sum so we have number nine okay we have to remember nine and let's see for option it's a, the argument we use for from zero to seven uh, we want to ignore the errors okay we can choose ignore only errors so we can choose number six here so we have nine for function and six for uh, option and also the array the, the numbers we want to choose so let's change instead of having sum here sum of that number we can use aggregate we want for sum number nine so we write nine also we write here to ignore only errors so we want six and the array we want to use we want to sum that numbers let's close so we have not the correct number because we don't see this number from here but it's something instead of nothing it's much better than having a name like before so it's ignoring the city too it's not including anything from that city but we have an approximate number for uh, totals of animals the same we will do for dogs we'll use nine for sum and six for ignoring only errors and we choose the array and also we want this aggregate here we want to sum everything above except we don't want to sum where we have already an aggregate function so we want to sum everything except the total for cats and dogs as a uh, check so we want sum but we want to ignore hidden rows and subtotal and aggregate functions let's see so here for the total we will use again aggregate we want sum 9 and we want now uh, the option 3 to ignore the aggregate from above and we choose everything from above so it's the same it's ignoring this one because here I have aggregate if I am deleting this uh, cell nothing is changing because anyway it's ignoring let's see now another case with um, hidden rows so if I hide this row you can see the total have changed so I'm ignoring hidden rows but they are I want to include them so I can change from option 3 to option 2 where it's ignoring errors but not hidden rows so now if I change the parameters for option to 2 is not ignoring anymore so I have 1420 because it's ignoring only errors 
an aggregate not hidden rows. Let's hide again two rows in order to see that. So I have ignore only errors, not hidden rows. Let's uh, hide again two rows and you can see the subtotals are the same because they are not ignoring what is hidden. Let's show again. And I have the same numbers. Of course, if I have the correct number, everything is changing. It's much better now. I have uh, the correct total here and for, for cats and for dogs and um, the total of animal it's much better. But anyway, with aggregate, it's much better than this. Uh, when I had uh, with sum, when I made here sum of cats and dogs, I have this error name. So I have no info how many cats, how many dogs I have, and I can even approximate. But with aggregate, I know that I have more than this number because some numbers can be wrong if I write them wrong. But anyway, I have an approximate value for that. Of course, there are much more options. Let's see, we can ignore only nested subtotals. We can ignore nothing. Let's change to ignore nothing. So I have error again because it's taking any um, error in in uh, to subtotal okay if i'm changing to seven to ignore hidden rows it's including twice everything everything is doubled in this case it's not correct but depends on what we are summing and of course we have more options not just some we can use for that function we can use average count max mean product median large small percentile quartile and so on thanks for watching and please subscribe for more video thank you